this clip right here is not in rewind. If you've watched this channel over the past year, you've probably seen a couple videos on me trying to break various world records for speed in iRacing. And I covered a couple different topics such as the fastest lap in terms of speed and the fastest lap in terms of time. But what I have not covered yet is the fastest speed period. So you'd probably understand my excitement when I got a message from my friend Corey saying that he had been made aware of a glitch in iRacing but not just any glitch, a glitch that could get us to break the ground speed record. Now, there are various glitches that make you go super fast in iRacing. I don't really cover them though, because most of them require just clipping into something and flying off into the void at 3000 miles an hour. That's kind of fun and all, but I want to drive fast. And this glitch, it's driving. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the new ground speed world record in iRacing, at least to my knowledge. So if we check the speed on that, 250 there, 260, and then through the grass here, to 300 there, 301, 310, and if you saw it for just a second there, there we go, right there at this very instant, 312 miles an hour. So let me show you how this glitch works and how you can try it for yourself, but you better do it quick because there's no way this stays in the game for very long because we've already reported it as a bug to iRacing. All right, so we are here in the late mall stock at iRacing Super Speedway. This glitch is for the late mall stock and we need a couple things in the settings. First up, I have a custom setup here that I will link to everybody, but you can use whatever setup you want as long as your rear end ratio is 2.8. You can kind of do anything in the middle or up, but 2.8 makes the glitch easier and we'll see why in a second here. So I'm going to get out on the track here. And the other thing I did that's really funny is I switched my gas and my clutch. So I'm pressing my clutch pedal right now to use the gas. You don't need to do this. This is, you'll see why I'm doing this in a second once we get going here. So I'm gonna turn the car backwards, put the car into reverse, drive in reverse, bring it all the way up. The rear end ratio allows us to drive up to 88 miles an hour, which helps the glitch out a little bit. Then we just press the clutch in and there we go. I'm gonna set a respawn point right here, but now we are infinitely accelerating. And you can see that if I'm just holding the clutch in, the car will go even faster. Now I can even put the car into neutral. I get a two X when I put the car in the neutral, that's pretty funny. And I can let go of clutch when I'm in neutral and the car will just infinitely accelerate. Now I don't usually keep the car in neutral, reverse is the better option. And we'll show that again in a second, but I'm just showcasing what's going on here. I'm just going forever. 200 miles an hour, 210, 220. Oh, we spun out at 220. The car is super hard to handle at that 220 mark, even that 200 mark. So let's go back to our respawn point. Damage. So the interesting thing about reverse gear is that we can use the clutch pedal as a pseudo gas pedal. And I'll show you why here right now. Look what happens when I let go of the clutch pedal entirely. <laughs> well, one, I blew my engine, but look, we're still gaining speed. So who needs an engine? <laughs> But the other thing was it slowed our car down. So we can actually use Catch the clutch pedal to, to modulate we'll our speed. Back to pit line. <laughs> I, I think we're okay, crew chief. I'm still driving. Look, we're going faster. But I can, you see I can go about half clutch here and maintain our speed. Anything above 150, 160 is extremely hard to maintain. So I'm going to try to keep it just for demonstration's sake at this 140. Trying to enter the corner. A little bit tough to enter these corners especially with the boat that we're driving and then look as i can get back on the clutch pedal it's almost like i press the accelerator now i'm speeding up but if i'm a little too fast so let me get off of the clutch again and then i gotta stay off the wall here oh and you see i pressed on the clutch and got the car loose so that's almost a full lap there but you can see that you can drive a full lap in these cars especially at that 140 to 150 mile an hour range but at the higher speeds than that, I'll show you a video from my friend who is an expert at this stuff by now. So this is Corey, the same guy who sent over the glitch to me. This is what he's able to do with it. And as you can notice right here, he's faster than the AI cars he's driving against. And look at that engine braking. I, I can't 
express enough that this is the hardest thing I've ever driven in iRacing. I tried to do laps up to speed at Dega and I racing super speedway for over an hour. I couldn't get one clean. So this is just absolutely ridiculous to me. Like when you see him with this control on the straightaway, don't take that for granted. He's going like 180, 190 miles an hour right now. And it is almost impossible to control. And then he can even pass cars and then look at this engine braking again. Jeez, I can't, I can't imagine. This is, it's so sick. It's easy through the corner there, and then as you see, he gets back on the clutch as he gets into the straightaway, and just try to floor it and hang on for the straightaway. And that is a pretty darn good lap right here. And another fun place to take this glitch is the Le Mans long straightaway on the historic layout of the track, where you pretty much just have like, what, three or four miles of straightaway. This is a really fun place to try to get a top speed. It isn't quite as fast as iRacing Super Speedway for me, but you can still get it up to like 250 or I think I get up to like 220, 230 here. But the thing about this car is it just drives like a forklift because it turns from the rears and it's going 200 miles an hour. The, the whole key to driving this car on any sort of terrain is just to keep the car as straight as possible. You really do not want to have to turn almost ever. And if you do, you want to bring it way down. So as you see, we gain more and more speed and it's exponentially raising. So as we get up to 200, it's, it's raising faster than ever. And it's almost like it's the wheels are almost coming off the ground at this point because of all of the lift under the rear and then boom. <laughs> Just a ton of fun all the way around. You should try at least one of these. And here's me doing a quick race, like a drag race with a couple of my friends. I'm thinking of setting up a couple hosted sessions. We'll see if I get around to it. So make sure to join the Discord and I'll ping people and see if we can do a race. I had an idea for a race where we do 10 laps at Dega, but with the minimum amount of fuel. So you're forced to do this trick to get around and see if anybody can make it all 10 laps without destroying their car. I think that'll be a lot of fun. You can bring the car up very comfortably to like 160, but anything like at 200, it's too much engine braking required because the faster you are, the more engine braking is required and it just spins out your car. So that's a big issue, but I think it is possible to race cars with a little bit of practice. But as you can see, it's not easy. So with that, I want to issue a challenge for you guys. It's going to be twofold. One, I want to see who can run the fastest lap at Talladega using this glitch. And two, I want to see who can drive the fastest speed, whether it be at Le Mans or at iRacing Super Speedway. I bet it's probably going to be iRacing Super Speedway. And I will give away $25 in iRacing gift card or credits to the winner of each when this glitch gets patched out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you all on the track.